Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. Your status just got an upgrade. No more living below your means. Your time has arrived. Anyone that has been living below their means, anyone that has an idea of themselves as being greater than you already are, when you hold that idea of yourself as being better than your current state, it will come true. You have to continue to focus on the idea of yourself living the way that you want. And you have to constantly be using your mind to destroy the way you no longer wish to live. The thoughts that you are thinking are hindering your success. When you have a mind that accepts poverty as the idea of the way your life is supposed to go, that's what you are going to receive. You have to accept something greater. You have to accept something better. You have to accept an idea for yourself that is different than what you're currently picturing. The life that you currently have is due to the thoughts that you currently have. Once you replace those thoughts, you will start to replace the way you live with the way you want to live. The thoughts that you have about your life are going to create the life that you live. The thoughts that you have about how you want to live is going to create your present reality. If you don't want to have a life of poverty, you need to not have thoughts of poverty, a mindset of poverty, and ways of thinking that correlate with poverty. Your current state of beliefs control your current state of living. Your current state of beliefs control your current state of being. Your mind has the power to create your reality. So what you have to do is you have to use your mind in a way that is going to create the reality that you want. When you think that you can't have it, when you think that wealth is not for you, when you think that you're not going to be able to get out of your current state, those things are going to stay stuck on you. You are staying in the way that you don't want to live. If you don't want to live in a certain way, if you know a certain way of life is beneath you, why would you want to continue to see yourself in that way of life? The more you continue to see yourself living the way that you don't want, doing things that you don't want to do, those things are going to continue to stay in your reality. You have to believe and you have to understand that God will make a way for you, but it's only according to your belief. That's why the Bible does say, according to your belief, so be it unto you. According to your beliefs, so be it unto you. All right. If you think that you have to continue to stay the way that you are, or if you think that there's no way out from the way that you currently are, then you're keeping yourself stuck. People will wonder why their life isn't changing. People will wonder why things aren't changing for them in their life, why they're not living a better life, why they're not exceeding, why they're not excelling, why they're, why they're not moving forward in life. It's because of your mind. If you don't think you deserve that promotion, but you want it, you're not going to receive it. If you want that new home, but you don't feel that you're worthy of it, you're not going to be able to live in it. People will brush past thinking and they view things from an outward point of view and they think that that's the only thing that they need to change. If you have a, a stinking thought process, 
your life is going to stink just like that. If you have a life that you don't like, it's because you are accepting thoughts that you don't like or you don't know you don't like them. So what you need to do is stop accepting the thoughts that you don't like because the thoughts that you don't like that you accept is creating your reality. See, some people want to be a realist and I understand that, but what you think is real and what you think is not is going to be real for you regardless. This is the matrix. What you think is real is going to be real. What you think is not real is not going to be real. If you think that you can't have it because it's out of your means, if you think that you can't have it because it's only for rich people, if you think that you can't have it because you don't have enough money, if you don't, if you don't think you can have it because of who you are, where you are, what you are, then it's going to be out of your reach and you're not going to be able to obtain it. There are people who had nothing to their name, nothing in their pocket, nothing in their bank account. All right. They had no assets, no properties, no business, no nothing. All they had was the idea of what they wanted, who they wanted to be and what they saw themselves having. And that alone slowly but surely started to create ways for them to obtain the things that they want. It's not, it's a, it's a, it's an overnight process. As far as your mind goes, you're still going to have to put in work and things like that. And you're still going, you're still going to have to work towards it. You're still going to have to uh, have faith. You're still going to have to believe in yourself. You're still going to have to press towards the mark. All right. You're still gonna have to pick up your bed and walk and all those things. The, like you can't get something for nothing. You, nothing is going to come to you easy. All right. But what you have to do is when you change your mind, it will come to you easier. When you change your mind, it will come to you a lot easier than when you think you can't have it, when you think you can't get it, when you think you can't work things out for yourself or when you think you can't have it in your bank account. You have to see yourself as someone that can make anything they want happen. When you see yourself as someone who can make anything that they want happen, that's somebody that believes in Christ. That's somebody that has a Christ-like mind state. That's somebody who sees a positive outcome for themselves. And your future is in your current state of beliefs. So if you, if you believe that you're never going to get out of this situation, you just made that real. You just created that. You just opened up a door and walked into a parallel universe where you're stuck and you're never going to get out of that reality. Things aren't going to work out for you. Nothing's going to change for you. Your future determines on how you feel about your current, your, your current situation. So however you feel about your current situation, that is going to be your reality. If you feel things are going to work out, they will. If you feel things are going to improve for you, they will. You have to have a mind that believes that you can accomplish the uh, unaccomplishable. All right, You have to have a mind that you feel that nothing is impossible for you. All right, people done went to the moon. All right, people done created cures for uh, diseases that they said were incurable. All right, people have come out of the most uh, poverty stricken conditions. All right, people have come out of the most poverty stricken conditions and still made something of themselves. All right, people have had less than you, people have had it worse than you, people have thought about themselves worse than you, and they still crawled themselves up out the depths of hell and still made their situation well. They still made their situation what they wanted it to be. People don't people don't told them that they couldn't make it. People told them you're this, you can't have that. You're that, you can't have this. People there there are people who done heard it all, who done done it all, who done went through it all and they still had it in their mind that I'm going to come out of this. I'm going to make it out of this. I'm still going to be something. I'm still going to become something. I'm still going to do something. And I'm still going to have something. And you can't you can't be the person with a mindset like that. People have to try 
to beat somebody with a mindset like that. They have to try to beat you down with a mindset like that. And this is why your status has got an upgrade because according to your thoughts, if you think that things will change for you, if you think that things will get better for you, if you think your time has arrived, if you think uh, no more living like this, if you think living in a way that is not um, conducive to how you want to live your life, if you think that's not, uh, if you think that's beneath you, if you think that's not going to serve you, if you think that's not something that you have to continue to keep doing, you don't have to continue to keep doing that. You don't have to continue to keep living like that. People think that this is the way that it's going for them. This is the way that it's always going to go for them. This is the way that it will always be for them. And that's that's not true. All right. That's not true. If you if you can think better, you can do better. And I know it's, it sounds cliche. It sounds simple. It sounds like, oh, that's, he's just saying something positive so he could put it in a video. This is real. It's just that people are too lazy to use their mind, all right? People don't want to use their mind. The people that don't want to uh, see better for themselves, it's just that they truly, really don't want to see better for themselves. And, and I mean, some people, it's all they know. Some people are, uh, you know, some people are down. Some people uh, don't think that they can have it. Some people don't think they can do that. But that's the thing. They don't think that they can have it. They don't think that they can do it. It's, it's as simple as that. If you don't have it, it's because you don't think you deserve it. People will, uh, people will see other people with certain things and be like, oh, wow, how'd you get that? And it's like, because they saw themselves with it. All right. Uh, uh, people who were successful, they saw themselves being successful. Somebody who's a, a actor, they saw themselves being an actor. Somebody who's a musician or artist or something like that, they saw themselves being a musician or artist. Is whatever you see yourself being, whatever you see yourself doing, and whatever you see yourself having is up to you. If you think that you uh, only deserve things that are below your means because that's what you see, that's what you know, that's what's easily accessible to you, then guess what? That's where you're going to stay stuck at. That's where you're going to be at. That's what you're going to continue to have. You have to raise your consciousness. And it's, it's, it's not like some a totally mystic, supernatural kind of thing. You just change your mind. That's all raising your consciousness is. It's, it's changing your mind. It's altering your mind state to a, a mind state to where you are in a state of belief. You see something that you want, you believe you can have it. You see something that uh, looks good or you see something, uh, you see someone else being successful, you see that for yourself. You see that same level of success for yourself. All right? And that's why your status just got an upgrade, because if you can change the way you think, and I know you can, all right, and you probably already have, all right, you, you probably just listened to this like, yo, I already did that. What's he talking about? All right, if, yo, if you can change your mind, you can have things that you feel that you deserve, and there's, there's nothing stopping you except your own thoughts. There's nothing stopping you except your own belief system. There's nothing stopping you except what you see for yourself. If you see that you can have it, you can have it. If you see it being yours already, it's yours already. And this is this is what they mean when they say you have to live in the end. You have to live in the end. You'll listen to successful people. It'll even be in some rap songs. Like people will like people will talk about like this type of stuff, but it's just not in like the way I'm saying it. Everybody has their own way of their like success talk or whatever. When, but when you, when you study success and when you study successful stories and when you uh, learn how to work your mind and things like that, you will hear people say the same thing and you'll understand like, yo, it's all the same message. It's all the same message. Everybody's saying the same thing. It's just people are putting their own unique little classic spin on it. All right. Everybody is speaking from their own experience. It's all the same thing. Anybody that feels that they can do better in life, they're going to. Anybody that knows that they can have more in life, they're going to. Stop thinking that you can't have more in life because of who you are, what you look like, where you are, your current state of mind, your current conditions, your current state of life. 
the amount of money in your bank account, all right, you may have zero, you may have nothing, you may be homeless, all right, it doesn't matter. Um, you may be uh, living in your car, you may not have a car, all right, you may not have the things that everybody else has that's moving forward in life, but you still can have the things that you desire, you still can have the things that you want, you still can move forward with your life if you choose to. It's a choice. It's a choice to 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 think of yourself of, of having the life that you want. It's a choice of seeing yourself being the type of person that you want to be. It's a choice. You have to choose that for yourself. Once you make that choice, you just upgraded yourself. You just upgraded your status. You just uh you just uh started living above your means, even if you're still in the same area, even if you're still uh, in the same condition. If you change your mind, your condition will have your condition has to change. These are universal laws and principles. They have to change. All right. If if you have if you work on your mind, all right, things will change. If you change the way you think, your life will change. All these things are in the Bible. All right. According to your belief, so be it unto you. You shall have whatever you say. All right. If, if you say that you're going to be able to change your life, if you say that you're going to be able to uh, get that car, if you say you're going to be able to get that house, if you say you're going to be able to get that job, if you say you're going to be able to have the life you want, these are these things have to happen. And it's, it's nothing that will not happen. People just want it so fast and so quick and so immediately they don't believe in this kind of stuff. What is he talking about? I could say that all day long and nothing will change. Well, if you think that, then nothing's going to change. And people really have to analyze their mind because when, when you say something like something positive, but if you really feel deep down inside in your heart of hearts, in the deep regions of your mind, if you feel that, yo, this ain't going to work, this is some BS, then that's what it's going to be for you. And the person that is um, the person that is like a child will enter the kingdom of heaven. Unless you be like a child, you won't enter the kingdom of heaven unless you are able to use your imagination and believe. All right. If a, a, a child puts on a costume, they think that they're that that character. All right. A child um, uh, pretends to be something. They think that's who they are child puts uh, little pillows on the floor and it's like, oh, you stepped in the lava, you're dead. Yo, they're that like they believe what they believe and they're not going to let anybody change their mind because their their uh, mindset is like a child. A child is stubborn. A child is hard headed. A, a child's uh, idea of what it believes is strong because it hasn't had anybody to tell them that's not what it is yet. So you have to use your mind like a child and be like, yo, regardless of life, regardless of uh, my condition, regardless of what I'm going through, regardless of what type of job I have, regardless of what I'm driving, regardless of where I'm living, regardless of, of how things are looking, I have to have a belief to where I'm stubborn and I can create what I want and I can do what I want and I can have the things I want and nothing is going to get in between me and my beliefs of what I think I'm able to do or what I'm able to have. All right. And as long as you are, uh, as long as you are creating that mindset for yourself, you'll be creating that reality for yourself. And that's how everybody uh, uses their mind to become successful. That's the, that's the, the whole game plan on how to use your mind to create what you want for yourself. You, you keep these things to yourself. You don't tell other people. You don't uh, talk to negative people. You get away from negative people, all right? Because you, you, if not, your status will have a downgrade, all right? So when you change your mind, when you're able to change your mind, when you're able to think something different, you can have something different, all right? When you're able to see something different, you'll be something different. It's that simple. It's just you have to work on how you look at things, how you perceive things. All right. Don't don't perceive yourself as, as only being able to have what you see currently. That that is a, a it's basically like shooting yourself in the foot and trying to run a marathon. Like, yeah. How come I haven't got anywhere? Pow. You're just shooting yourself in the foot with like not being able to let go of negative mind states. It's like chaining yourself to a brick wall and then be and, and then trying to move forward in life and wonder why you're not getting nowhere. And when you change your when you change the way you think and replace those negative thoughts, it's like unhinging yourself, unlocking the, the chain and setting yourself free. All right, so everything uh, is according to your mind. That's that's why the Bible says, according to your belief, so be it unto you. Whatever you believe, all right, you are as far as how you want to live your life, the things you see yourself having, 
all right, the things you see yourself being, however you look at that, however you feel about that, that's what you're going to have. And people, people who uh, become successful, they all know this. They all know that. All right. This is, this is some, some real powerful stuff we're uh, discussing right here. All right. Real powerful stuff. Don't just brush over this. Don't just think that uh, you have to do it one time and it's going to work. This is a, a, a lifetime process, okay? It's not going to take you a lifetime to get what you want, but it's a lifetime process of you working on your mind and changing the way you think about things and changing the way you think about things because it, it, it changes your vibration and it, it puts you on a frequency to where you could have these things because in order to get what you want, you have to become a vibrational match. That's why people's prayers don't get answered. That's why people uh, stay stuck. That's why people don't get what they want. That's why people don't believe in um, the, these types of things that I'm saying is because they're not allowing themselves to become a vibrational match. When you become a vibrational match for the things that you want, it's, it's, easily, it's more easily for you to attract it, all right? It's, it's more easily for you to attract it. So if, if you can grasp the concept of what I'm saying, you just got a status upgrade. You just got to yo, your status just upgraded regardless of who you are, regardless of what you are, regardless of where you live, regardless of what you look like, regardless of what you have, regardless of, of anything that's currently going on. If you can grasp the concept of what I'm saying and, and you are willing to work on your mind and change your mind, your status just got to upgrade and your time has arrived. All right. No more living below your means because your time has arrived. If you see yourself having to live below your means, you can forget it. If you can see yourself living above your, your means, regardless of how you're currently living, regardless of what you're currently seeing, your time has arrived. If, if you have the mind to where you can use your imagination and you can um, control your thoughts, if, if you know that controlling your thoughts is real, your time has arrived. If you uh, know that you don't have to base your faith according to your appearances, but um, don't base your faith according to, the, to your appearances, but as if the things were already in your possession, I I I, I, I said it right before, but I, I I'm trying to remember it right now, but I, I I can't quite get it. But the the moral of the story is: don't base your faith according to appearances. Base your faith as uh, uh, according to those things as though they were. I'm pretty sure I just butchered that. But if you don't base your faith according to appearances but according to those things as though they were. You're supposed to base your faith according to things as though they were, as if you already had them, all right? Because if you if you have them in your mind, your mind cannot tell the difference. All right, I know I butchered that, but if, if your mind, if, if, if you can put it in your mind that you're already what you want to be, you already have these things, you're already living the life that you want, that's the definition of living in the end, and your mind cannot tell the difference. That's why visual visualization techniques are, are working good, all right? It's not the devil, all right? That's why uh, in the Bible it says, uh, build it according to the pattern on the mount. What that really is saying is you have to uh, create your, your life will be created according to the vision that you have in your mind, all right? Build the, build the pattern, uh, build, build it according to the pattern on, on the mount. It really means that your life will be created according to the vision in your mind. All right. So it's not new age. It's just people don't uh, it's just certain things that have been hidden, certain things that haven't been talked about because people are looking at it from a 3D perspective. They're looking at it from a, a, a 3D level. All right. They're not looking at it from a level to where you could get what you want. They're not looking at it from a level to where they're trying to teach you how you could get what you want. All right. So you have to, to build, build the build it according to the pattern on the mount. You're supposed to be creating your lifestyle according to the vision that you have for yourself in your mind. <laughs> All right. Yo, it's, it, it, it gets real, it gets deep. But, yo, know, you, you, your, your lifestyle that you want is only a thought away. God didn't put you here to be broke, poor, busted, disgusted any of those negative things. He didn't put you here to live in poverty. He didn't put you here to struggle for your whole entire life. All right. He didn't put you here to, to live below your means your whole entire life. All right. Certain things are just meant to be experiences and you're able to work your way out of them. And you go through these things to be an example and an inspiration and to motivate others. All right. Jesus was born in a manger. A manger is a, a, where animals are eating, sleeping, and pooping. 
All right, so yo, and and he was born in in uh, lesser circumstances than anybody would want to grow up in. Let's just put it that way. So if if he can get out of that, if he can grow out of that, and and still become uh, the great man that he was, you could still become the great man or woman that you're meant to be. All right, so thank you for watching this video. I, I'd like you to hit that like button, hit that share button. Don't forget to subscribe, all right, because we all the way live. Shout out to the chosen vessels. Shout out to the Galactic Family and Drew Nation. Peace, love, and light. We out.